This is Blue Bell Macau here in Swanee, Georgia. This symbolizes the devotion that Swanee has to the arts. Uh, just like Chicago with all its cows, the last time I was up there, al almost every block. Uh, Swanee is devoted to uh, arts and there are almost this continuous art show going at the, the galleries and art contest here in Swanee. I'm on the way to George Pierce Park. This is Gwinnett uh, Library uh, in Swanee. It's a fabulous library. It has cathedral, uh, cathedral ceilings. It's very, very attractive inside. Gwinnett County received the award for having the best library system in the country in the year 2000. Cicero, the great Roman orator and writer, once said that to him, a paradise is a garden with a library in it. And this comes very close. There's a tunnel connected underneath the railroad tracks to a plaza and, uh, and a, a playground on the other side. Hello, I'm Frank. I'm here at the uh, City Hall in Swanee, Georgia. They have a beautiful plaza here that goes around with a lot of merchants and restaurants and so forth. Uh, and Swanee was selected by Money Magazine a, a couple of years ago as being one of the best ten places to live in the United States, the small towns. So uh, before I go to George Pierce Park, I like to stop here and, and walk around. This park reminds me of Centennial Olympic Park in downtown Atlanta with the fountains. The kids really love these fountains in the summertime. And that's the new city hall in the background there with the clock. It was built in 18 and 17, the original one. I'm here in Swanee at the George Pierce Park, a Gwinnett County Park. Gwinnett County was voted number one in the United States in 2007 as having the best uh, park system in the country, beating out Las Vegas and Fort Worth, Texas. So it's quite an honor, quite a fabulous park system they have here. Hello, my name is Frank. I'm here at the George Pierce Park in Swanee, Georgia. This is a wonderful park, uh, has so many facilities, has uh, two walking trails, in fact. It has a, a soft walking trail of about uh, let's see, about one and a half miles. Then it has a, a hard multi-surface uh, walking trail that's two and a half miles long. So and they have the tennis facilities, they have a football field, several soccer fields, and they have an outdoor basketball court. Uh, they have a prime time senior uh, part uh, wing here of the building where they have uh, uh, something going for the seniors almost all the time. They have uh, art exhibition shows here. In fact, I've had two myself here, one on China and one on the Mediterranean. So it's a wonderful park and it's easy to get to. It's off Buford Highway uh, and you can get it either off of 285 or 85 using Swanee uh, Lawrenceville Highway. So if you're ever in this neighborhood, you should stop by. It's a wonderful place. These are really lovely flowers they have at the George Pierce Park. Hello again. I'm down here uh, near the pond. Uh, I'm just getting ready to make a walk around. It's about two and a half miles. And it's not too hot today. The wind is blowing. The other day when I was over in uh, Lawrenceville, it was 90 degrees. So today it's more like 76. So it's uh, much more comfortable. So sit back and relax. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is the pond here at the George Pierce Park. We have a turtle down here. I don't know if you can see. This is the soft trail 
Uh, you can hear the water running here along the side of the trail. It looks like it would be really cool uh, in, in the summertime to walk. As you can see, it's very rustic uh, back here uh, in the, on the trail here at the George Pierce Park. So I'm going further in. I'm making another video snapshot here. It's only eight seconds, but this I guess this is the end of the soft trail, so we'll have to get on the gravel road up here and see uh, where it takes us. Oh, here comes a bicycle, so I guess I better move over. But I'm going to walk across the bridge here in a minute. And see. I'm walking across the bridge now. It's rather nice. I'm not sure how long this bridge is, but it looks like it's a, a good, good distance, perhaps. Someone is coming behind me here, I think. So I'm about halfway across the bridge here. So I'll uh, walk on. A lot of lovely f flowers along the way here. As you can see, we have a side road here. Uh, it may go to the parking lot. I'll have to see. Uh, perhaps it does. Yes, there is a parking lot right here against the trail, so it's handy, uh, handy to get to. The road splits here, so we're going to take the one is the rocky road, and we'll take the. We have a creek or something run alongside the park here. Here we are at a bend in the road, alongside the another bend in the road here. Which on the salt. Hello. Those are beautiful dogs you got. Thank you. What kind are they? Uh, Doberman, Doberman, oh. and Curly Coated Retriever. Oh, I see. They're beautiful. Thanks. And there's a deer when you oh, there is go a deer. by the corner. Um, oh. You go around this S shape, and he's down on the left. He's standing in the water. Getting oh, drinking. great. Thank you for telling us. Looks like we found the bench. I'm so happy. Here we are still on the trail by the lake. This is the end of the trail here. The first one piece of advice I could give you is turn around and go back. Uh, this road uh, uh, that you take over here, the multi-purpose trail is real hard surface and you have to climb two steep hills. So the wisest thing to do is just to turn around and go back on the, uh, the soft trail and save your feet.